Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rhea. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe before you go. I'd love to have you a part of my family here on YouTube. I make motherhood and lifestyle videos, and in today's video, I will be sharing with you guys everything that we got for Scarlett's birthday party. If you don't know already, I do have a two-year-old daughter. Um, today is her birthday, actually, the day this video is going up. We're gonna be having her birthday party this weekend and so I wanna show you guys what we got for her party and how I made some of the games and decorations. So for one of the games at the party, we are going to do the knock em down. It's like a little bowling game. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually painting Scarlett's Pedia Sure bottles. These are gonna be the bowling pins and so I'm gonna paint these really quickly and let them dry while I get everything else ready. I luckily already had everything that I needed. These are not gonna be perfect. I'm literally just gonna put one coat of paint on them just so that they're not white. It's okay if it's kind of streaky. I don't need them to be perfect. We're only gonna use them for one day. show you. Um, I do have yellow and blue ones already painted. I painted those the other day during Scarlet Snap Time. And so all of those together are going to be the bowling pins. And a friend of ours gave Scarlet a huge bag of plastic balls. And so I'm going to be using a couple of those during the game. That is one game that we're playing. Now let me show you the next. So for this next game, we are going to be doing a ring toss. And so what I did was I collected glass bottles. I took the labels off of them and washed them. I have eight of them and I washed and cleaned them and I put them inside this box here. It's a goldfish snack box and instead of throwing the box away, I decided to paint it white and I didn't have the red paint at the time, um, but I used red duct tape that I did have and so that's how I made the box. And so this is gonna be for the ring toss game, super fun. And what we're gonna use for the rings is these glow sticks. They're opened because we used a couple of them for Scarlett's bath time. She had a glow in the dark bath the other day. It was a lot of fun. But I'm just going to connect a couple of these together and use these as the rings for our ring toss game. And these I bought at Dollar Tree. So for our next game, I decided to do a bing bag toss. This is it. And as you can kind of see, um, it's just an old Pampers box that I cut in half and I spray painted it white. I could have probably done another coat of it, but I ran out of spray paint. And like I said, it's just gonna be for one day, so it really doesn't need to be perfect. Um, and then I just cut the holes out myself. And then my bean bags, I made myself as well. So I have fabric. I actually made a bow for Scarlet um, for the 4th of July and I had some fabric left over. And so I used that to make the bean bags. Inside of them, I'll actually put a picture up here of what the bags themselves look like. I had little plastic bags and I put pasta noodles and rice and then I just sewed the bags together. And so I made four of them. And so this will be the bean bag toss game. So those are the three games that we're gonna have at the birthday party. I am gonna set them up like little booths and that's what these poster boards are for. I will be hanging these in our garage. We're probably gonna be in the garage for the party. Um, I think it'll be a little chilly to be outside. So we're just gonna do it inside our garage and I'm gonna hang these up right in front and I do have little signs. I actually found the border online i just googled it and then i used pick monkey to add the lettering to them and then i just printed them out at work Letting go when I want to 
share with you all the games we'll be playing. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the other decorations that I made before I get into the ones that we bought. But it's gonna be a carnival party if you hadn't guessed it by now. And so we are gonna have carnival-like food. So I went ahead and made these little signs to put on the table. You can't have hot dogs and corn dogs without ketchup or mustard. And so I went looking for the little red and yellow um, squeeze bottles, but I couldn't find them. The only ones I found at the Dollar Tree were the clear ones. So I just made a label for them. And of course, since they're clear, once I put the condiments inside, you'll be able to see it. Now for our drink table, um, I made some little water signs that I thought about taping on the front of water bottles and put them on the table. I just thought they would be really cute. Not 100% sure if I'll do that, but I do have those just in case. And then you can't have a carnival and not have lemonade. So I'm going to be using my canisters um, that my mom got me for our housewarming party. And so I'm gonna have regular lemonade and pink lemonade. And so I thought those would be really cute to have. This will be my first time using them, so I'm pretty excited. So last year for Scarlett's first birthday, we had a Beauty and the Beast party for her. And I completely forgot that I made her one of those little ribbon skirts for her high chair. And I just found it. I forgot that we had saved it and it would go perfect for this year. So she's gonna use it again this year. I just found a whole bunch of um, ribbons and actually most of this ribbon was scrap ribbon that they had in a huge pack for like two bucks. And so I made this and we're gonna use it again this year. So when I showed you my signs that I made, you did see that there was a photo booth sign. So we are gonna have a little photo booth. It's gonna be inside in our living room. I'm really excited about that. So I bought a red tablecloth. I think what I'm gonna do is make like a little tent. And then I'm gonna use the streamers and hang them down in the middle. And so I figured that would be really cute. And I bought paper fans to decorate the top of it. And we're also going to have balloons on the side. And I bought Scarlet a number two balloon. And I thought that would be really cute. If I don't put it with the photo booth, it's for sure gonna be in the kitchen by her high chair and the cake and stuff. But we'll see. I'm not 100% sure on where I'm gonna put everything, but I have a lot of ideas. I found a happy birthday sign. It's really cute. These we got from Hobby Lobby. A lot of the stuff I found either at Hobby Lobby or Dollar Tree. And I also was so excited because I found carnival plates and napkins. So cute. They didn't have these the last time when I first went in and I found our popcorn bags and our little signs. Um, but they had them this time, so we made sure to grab those. We also bought to this little tabletop thing. And I'm gonna put this in the living room where we have her gifts. I just thought it was so cute. It was, I got this at the Dollar Tree. And I've also bought streamers, some like little hanging stars. We have balloons, all kinds of balloons. And then we have like those little paper mache pom-poms. So we have a couple of those. Like I said, I'm not 100% sure on where I'm putting everything, but I have an idea and I can't wait to see what how everything turns out. She is a Halloween baby, and even though we're having a carnival birthday party, if you guys saw in my fall um, shop with me vlog, I found the cutest little pumpkin bags at Dollar Tree, and I just had to get them. So these are gonna be for her party favors. from Hobby Lobby and I think that's it as far as everything we bought now let me get into what we're gonna wear so as you know I am a crafty person and I love Halloween even before I had a Halloween baby I loved making my own costumes and so now that I do have a little baby I'm so happy that I get to make her costumes since I made her costume last year I decided to do the same thing this year um, her dad and I are not necessarily dressing up this year, but I did make our costumes too, so. So this year, Scarlett is going to be the ringmaster, and I made her little costume. I bought the tutu on Amazon and the onesie, and then I used my Cricut and I just decorated the front. The hat is from Hobby Lobby. I think it was a headband at first, but I took it apart and I made it into a clip to clip into her hair. 
because I know that she won't wear a headband. So this is her costume. Super, super cute. Can't wait to see her in it. And then she's of course gonna get dirty and I know that. So I went ahead and made her another little shirt. I don't know if you can see her name on there. It's kind of light. I thought it was super cute. I just wanted her to have something else to wear in case she gets hot or dirty in her costume. Then she has something else that she can wear. Now this I did not make for her myself, but I did have somebody make it for her. Um, if you've ever heard of Eden and Emeralds, it's a cute little shop. It's run by this lady named Julia. She's the sweetest person ever. She does totes and pouches and things like that, and I'll be sure to link her shop down below. It's so cute. You have to check it out. Um, she did do Halloween totes this year, and I had her, I asked her if she would make Scarlet one that says birthday girl on it, and so... This is Scarlett's little Halloween tote. And so every year, for as long as this bag will last us, um, we're gonna use this instead of buying Scarlett like a little bucket or something. She can just reuse this and it's so cute. I love the print inside. Those little pumpkins are so cute. So this I bought for her from that shop. Thank you so much, Julia, for making this for her. I love it. I, I'm so happy to have bought one. And um, I really appreciate the fact that she made that for her. Since it's going to be a carnival, BJ and I are going to be the carnival staff. It is at our house, so I thought it's not dressing up, but it's still pretty cute. And so this is what we'll be wearing for the party. Oh, and I have one more thing to show you. I don't have all of the party decorations here. I just remembered that I did ask my brother to make um, the little cutouts of the animals. Um, to take pictures in, you know, the ones with the little head cutouts. So he's making those for me. So stay tuned for that on the birthday vlog. And this guy, I forgot to show you him. He came from my mom. He belongs to my mom, so we have to give him back. But I just thought it would be so cool to have him sitting underneath like the gift table or somewhere. Scarlett loves to sit on him and bounce on him. So she's not afraid of him. And I'm hoping he doesn't scare any of the other kids but he's really cute and so he's a part of our decorations as well. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope I was able to give you guys some inspiration on how you can reuse items around your house and repurpose them. Um, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. I can't wait for you guys to see Scarlett's birthday vlog so make sure to hit that bell button so you don't miss that. Um, Thank you again so much for watching and have a blessed and beautiful day. Bye.